Hey, what is going on, guys? T. Sports 15 here, and today we have another episode of the Toronto Blue Jays franchise here in MLB 13, the show. So, um, here we have, uh, I think it's episode 37, and it could be the last one, and it's up to you guys. So, you can see that uh, earlier on in this episode, um, Brett Laurie did win the playoff MVP, sorry, World Series MVP, and then uh, Joe Maurer got playoff MVP. So, um, we're just looking at retired players, and then we're going to get into re signing players. And stuff and uh, that's really not what the episode's about we'll get into more about what this episode's about later but uh the episode right now i want you to go over there's gonna be a link in the description for a poll code and um if you guys want me to do a third season in this because i could be cutting this off right now or i could be continuing this series um into year three so it's all up to you guys i'll pretty much decide on whatever you guys go on i might I might alter it a little bit, I don't know, uh, we'll see how things play out, but uh, into this episode I want to focus on how this offseason played out, this is the 2014 offseason, um, heading into the 2015 season, so we had six starters that are like ready to go, we have David Price, Josh Johnson, Brandon Morrow, Matt Harrison, um, Shelby Miller, and Jameson Tyon, so that's six starters, um, originally I was planning on letting uh, Brandon Morrow go, but uh, I later on in this episode um, I re I signed him later and then we uh, we actually deal him away so that'll be coming at the end of the episode you can see that um, we do let Michael Stutes go just because he really didn't fit in he didn't pitch that well last year definitely um, and we wanted to get another lefty in there and uh, Brent Cecil's ready to go definitely he's an 84 overall um, and we need another lefty in there because our only lefty in the bullpen was our closer and we always wanted to save him to the ninth inning so we really didn't have a lefty out there besides our closer. So uh, we decided to re-sign Josh Tolley. He's going to be the backup catcher. He's 77 overall. And he's got decent defensive stats. He's got uh, 84 blocking. And uh, his arm strength is like a 79, 80. Uh, and his arm accuracy is not that good. But uh, he's still still pretty decent. Um, we really didn't have too many guys to sign. Miguel Sano, he had a renewable contract. I think we signed him for a three or four year deal coming up here. And uh, that's the trick right here. Um, in this game, um, it's kind of stupid, but uh, if you want to uh, have your really superstars uh, stay on your team for a long time, you get like the young guys, so such as Carlos Trufalon. I think that's how you how you say his name, or Miguel Sano. Whenever they're at this point, you sign them for like six, seven year deals um, at very, very low prices, and then you don't have to pay them uh, because Trufal he signed a seven year deal right there for like. 500k but in seven years whenever he's like 90 overall or even five years whenever he's 90 overall he wants to have he'll probably want like a 10 million dollar contract that's saving you another 10 million dollars but uh we're gonna sign yes you'll puig um i do want to go in this offseason and uh try and look for a better center fielder i know yes you'll puig's very good in real life but in this game i think he's gonna cap off at like an 85 so um maybe keeping him around we'll see how things play out in this offseason you see david Price, Sergio Santos, Josh Tolley, Carlos Rufal, Miguel Sano, Yasiel Puig all re-sign on the first day of uh, re-signing right after the World Series. Colby Rasmus signs there and we have four guys remaining. Moro who were at this moment we're not going to be re-signing but later on we do. Um, and then Cecil and then Esmil Rogers who they do sign a little bit later I believe but uh, Brandon Moro at this moment we didn't want to re-sign him and uh, here we go. We're just simulating through the last day. Esmil Rogers and Brett Cecil both sign. And you can see the free agents. The top free agent is Brandon Moro and uh, the next top was Homer Bailey but we really didn't go for any free agents this year. There were just wasn't any good uh, guys out there if we do want to we can save our money for next off season still looking to the future even though this could be my last episode of this series um, so you can see top uh, reliever is Michael Stutes which at the end of the off season I regretted not going for him again but here we go um, you can see okay so here's the first trade of the offseason we're going to try and go for Mike Trout it's gonna be a difficult play to make um, they really wanted Edwin Encarnacion or one of our starters in this deal and I really am looking to trade away Encarnacion probably at the end of next season uh, because we have Philip Hatfield coming up but in this deal we did not have to give up Edwin Encarnacion they wanted Neftali Feliz a lot but uh, we had to obviously add something else in they wanted Sano and Yasiel 
Puig, but I really didn't want that to happen. It's probably the most realistic. It's still unrealistic to do that. Um, even though Puig's a very, very good young center fielder, but he's not that good in this game. Um, but we try and take off Sano and uh, take off Puig, and they wanted it for just Rasmus. I know this is very unrealistic, so I decided I'd add in a uh, top 50 prospect left fielder, Ronaldo Mota. He's 68 overall, so this is a little bit more realistic. Kobe Rasmus, he's young. He's got that A potential as well. Neftali Feliz, a very good closer. And uh, Mota, he could be a, a potential superstar here. Um, but we wanted a reliever back because we're giving up Neftali Feliz. But I decided not to go for it. Um, we're going to be looking for relievers a little bit later in the season. Um, be, just be, we decided not to go with Madsen or Varus just because they were a little, little bit too old. I think they were both 34. But now I wanted to go for this ace pitcher right here. I definitely wanted Clayton Kershaw, but I decided to go for Zach Greinke. Um, I decided to give up Harrison and Brandon Morrow because the, we have six starters right now after we re-signed uh, Morrow. So we have six star starters, so we can give up two of them. And uh, the two guys that just fell out of the mix, because Josh Johnson, David Price, um, and then our two young guys in uh, Shelby Miller and... Uh, what's his name? Jameson Tyon. Those guys are all going to be in the mix. Um, and then Zach Greinke is going to be the number two. So we tried to get Kenley Jensen in this deal, but uh, obviously they really don't want to give him up because he's a very, very good pitcher. Uh, so we decided to take him off. And I think the final deal was Matt Harrison, Brandon Morrow, and Nolan Arenado for Zach Greinke. And Zach Greinke is going to very, very nicely fit in that two spot. So we have... Uh, David Price as the opening day starter, then uh, Zach Greinke, then following him we have Josh Johnson, who's a 94 overall, and that's very, very good for that two-spot starter, and then rounding out the rotation we have Shelby Miller, who pitched phenomenally in last year's playoffs, only getting two stars, but making very, very good use of his uh, time um, on the mound, and then we also have Jamison Tyon, who's going to be a rookie, and I think he's going to have a very good season, so you can see our final lineups, I decided to put Trout in that three spots, um, keeping our top of the order pretty much same uh, Reyes, then Phillips, then Trout, Bautista, Encarnacion. Joe Maurer gets bumped down to the sixth spot, then Laurie Myers, and then uh, Puig's going to be dh in for us. Um, but then off the bench, we still have some pretty good options um, in Sano, Everett Cabrera, um, and then two other guys, Rajai Davis and... Uh, What's his name? Josh Tolley. So those are four bench options. And then you can see our bullpen. We plopped uh, Brett Cecil in there. Esmeel Rogers is going to be the long man. And we need one more guy to call up. And uh, I really didn't notice our bullpen was this thin. I probably would have signed uh, Michael Stutes if I knew our bullpen was going to be this thin after we traded away um, that reliever in Neftali Feliz. But uh, we're probably going to be going for a reliever mid off mid mid season sorry um, and then also some bench bats but our lineup is pretty much set rotation and uh our position players are very very good at the moment uh so we'll see how things play out sergio santos is going to be good in that in that setup role he was a good pitcher last year casey jansen is going to have the eighth inning but once again guys just leave a uh a vote on that poll code in the description um and then i'll decide if i'm going to even be doing year three so that's going to do it for this episode guys hopefully you guys are uh excited for year three if you want that or um if you guys are excited for the series to be done but that's going to do it for this episode guys i will see you guys in the next one. Peace.